Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emily Hessler, if you're new to my channel, and today we're gonna create a happy birthday card. I actually created this uh, a while back when I was at vacation from school, and uh, now that school is back, I haven't been crafting anything, and that actually was my New Year, <laughs> New Year resolution to actually continue creating after I'm back at school, but I don't know, it's been a lot this week too, so we see how we do this. Uh, but for the card today, we are gonna use these uh, painted flowers from Alt New, and um, I bought that, actually if you saw my whole video last weekend, you saw that I bought it and I have created a couple of different cards with it. And this is one of them I, that I created and did a video for, so you, I don't think I showed you this one uh, in that whole video, just to create some interest now. So, And um, I actually have been uh, given a camera from my parents, uh, it's a, I don't think it's a, it's a, I think it's a pretty old uh, camera, but I'm trying it out and um, I'm gonna see if it is any different in my, like, uh, videos uh, over a couple of weeks now so we'll see how we do this and um, yeah I'm just starting out by uh, creating that little mask and then I did some overlapping of these flowers and I'm going in with my uh, Kurochake Sig Clean color markers that's a hard word to say I hope I said it right and just taking some blue markers and I think I showed you which one I'm using uh, otherwise uh, give me a hint and I can link them and list them down below and um, I have sped this process up uh, I think three times but it didn't take that much effort or time to do this I'm just taking scribbling on some markers at different places where I think the shadow will be and then I'm just dragging that out and uh, yeah really simple I didn't want this to be like taking all day I just felt like giving them some pop of colors and those uh, leaves that I stamped out those, pre those pretty filler images uh, they are they I'm gonna leave like they are they're just gonna be blank and I think that's a fun fun way to do it um, and from the beginning here I thought I was just going to do this like um, part in the corner there but when I had done that I saw that I have to do something about the lower part too because it got a little bit too heavy at the top and too light at the bottom and then I have to do something to like balance it out so then I picked up those stamps again and I just you're gonna see it here in a couple of minutes um, then I'm just going in and filling in some of the images at the uh, bottom. Here you can see I'm gonna do it like it's the top, but it's gonna be in, in the bottom when this card is done. And here I'm just checking with my frame how big of a, uh, how far down I'm gonna stamp this and uh, yeah. So guys, I hope your weekend is uh, nice and uh, that you have done some nice things here in Sweden we have this yucky weather and I'm just longing for spring I know I say that every week but it's really bad now because I mean it's a little bit snow outside but it's mainly like this gray yucky weather and yeah oh it's so terrible and I'm no outside outside person can you say that I don't like to go outside when it's when the sh sun is not shining so yeah and yesterday we spent at this mall just trying to buy all the different things we need and so we missed the daylight and when we got home it was like dark again so we went when it was dark and we got home when it was dark and it's just oh I just miss sunlight so I'm really longing for spring but I'm hanging in there, it's just a couple of more months. <laughs> so here I'm taking my Memento Black and we are gonna create some splatters. And you will see here in a minute that I should just have done this a couple of small ones because 
you will see that I am <laughs> making a huge blob at the middle of this. So I'm like, no, what I'm gonna do to save this project? Yeah, there it goes. You see that? Oh, so bad. So then I'm trying to save this by taking some Heidi Shine. I shook this a lot. I think like four minutes outside outside the camera, like off camera. So you didn't have to watch me do that. <clears throat> and then I'm just uh, flicking on some more gold splatters and I really like that and it actually saves this project a lot and when we're done with that yeah we're gonna die cut this now so we know how big of a piece we have to play with and uh, yeah off camera I cut a size of foam tape uh, fo sorry not foam tape um craft foam just to be able to mount that and then I'm taking a top folded note card and just taking some ATG to that part too. And then I'm adhering it. This is always the hardest part, I, th I think, to get it straight. And here I'm using a stamp set with a coordinating die from Hero Arts. I have been showing this in a lot of videos, but I really, really like it. And I'm always going back to this stamp set. So. It's really been a good investment. I don't. I cannot even say how many cards I've done with this. It's so many, and um, yeah. If you do, if you do that many cards with one stamp set, it really has to be good because otherwise you will go to another one. So I'm really happy about this. And you can see here off camera, I just took a strip of black paper and heat uh, set that with um, some white um, embossing powder with that birthday. And now I'm going over all the edges. If I had known I was going to do this, I would have done it before I had mounted it to that card. Uh, but <laughs> you can see I'm doing it really carefully. It's just a black suit to give it a little more definition and more finished look. And I've really been loving to do this with my projects lately. And um, yeah, really pretty, really simple. You can see it gives this like a pop of colors at the these parts where it's no other like colors, it's just blue and black, so I really like that. And to embellishing it, yeah, I'm still trying to use up all my Pretty Pink Pars uh, sequence in the Clear Finish Mix. I have bought a couple of more, but I was determined to end this package before I went into my new one. And I really like these small, um, small pieces in this bag, if you can say that. And uh, the big ones I already used up. I don't know why I always do that, but I try to balance it out. But these small ones lo like to stick at the bottom of every bag that I get. So I'm always ending up with the small ones to them. So, But guys, this was it. If you liked it, please give it a thumb up. And if you want to see more of my work, you can always subscribe to my channel here at YouTube. Or visit me at Instagram. My name is Scrapbooking Online Space. Until next time, have a great day. Bye, guys!